All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video. It's trying to rain on me. So today I want to talk to you about the Black Collar Arms Pork Sword. And if you haven't seen a Pork Sword, this is a Pork Sword. So Black Collar Arms is a pretty innovative company out of Texas. And by the way, I am not affiliated with them. They didn't send this to me to do a review on it. My buddy bought this, built it, and let me borrow it so I could mess around with it and do a review on it. I actually reached out to Black Collar Arms to try to demo one of their rifles. They politely told me no, and rightfully so. I'm a pretty small channel. I only have about 300 subscribers as of making this video. So, Black Collar Arms came out with the Pork Sword, a bolt-action pistol. Um, why? Well, once you shoot one, you'd know why. So, why is this one a rifle and not a pistol? Well. Once it's a rifle, it's always a rifle. The ATF will not let you go back to a pistol or make a rifle a pistol. I'm sorry. So if you want to build a pork sword pistol, you have to buy a virgin barreled action or put a brand new action and barrel together yourself, take it to a gunsmith and have it done. But if you have a Remington 700 and you're thinking about throwing in a new chassis, you can use the pork sword. You just have to put a stock on the back, not a pistol brace, and then you have to con you have to adhere to you know ATF rules with your barrel length and your rifle length so that's another reason why to do the pork sword pistol you can get a short barrel without making a short barrel rifle and paying the ridiculous $200 tax stamp fee to do so unfortunately I don't have a pistol variant in front of me I have a rifle set up with the pork sword chassis but I'm gonna be building myself a pork sword pistol after messing with this I absolutely love this thing guys so on their website, blackcollararms.com, you got some options. You can buy the chassis if you're just wanting to throw your Remington 700 into a new chassis. And there's plenty of manufacturers out there making chassis for these. Now Q makes a real cool one, the Side Chick, MDT makes them, other companies as well. But none that are just like this. So with this, you've got the chassis, which is covered in Picatinny. You got Picatinny on the back. That's how we've actually mounted the stock. You got Picatinny that runs under the bottom and the front. That's actually how the handguard that you would think of, they call it their far end instead of a traditional wraparound handguard. It just goes under the bottom with four slots of M-lock on the bottom and on the sides, enough to attach a bipod and then enough Picatinny on top to attach a scope. The thing, it feels solid. It looks great. The machining is just flawless on it. It is absolutely a beautiful rifle. Now you get on their website, they actually have a builder. I think it starts at $8.99. I'll post it on the screen for having them build a complete rifle for you if you want. There's so many options from caliber, barrel length. I mean, they've got like a six or eight options for the type of bolt handle that you have on it. Plenty of options on their website, basically. But I took this out to the range a couple times. I said it's got a Remington 716 half inch barrel and I've got a 762 suppressor on the end shooting 300 black subsonic out of a bolt gun is ridiculously quiet. Guys, if you have any questions about this, uh, you can ask me in the comments. I'll try to answer everything I can for you. I would contact these guys direct if you're interested in them. I think right now they said they've got a pretty extreme lead time because these things are... Uh, they're ordering them faster than they can make them, basically. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe. Click the bell icon for notifications when we upload new content. We really appreciate the support. We're a brand new channel trying to grow our fan base. If you guys have any ideas of things that you'd want reviews done on, add in the comments and tell us. We'd love your input on what to do or what you'd like to see us do. Once again, Sean with Able Company Arms, and we'll see you on the next one.